Wisdom is important on two separate levels. Um, she's really important um, because she's part of a very long-term scientific study of um, populations of lace and albatrosses in the wild. And the reason we can do that, study those populations, is because we have a large number of those birds, uh, individual birds, banded and their um, records kept at the Tucson, at the Bird Banding Laboratory. Um, and so she's important for helping us understand survivorship, how long birds live, and um, how often they breed, because we know her as an individual, as part of a population. And there's a second reason why wisdom is so very important, and that is um, not only because she's part of an enormous uh, long-term study of animal populations, but because she's an individual that we can actually know and um, think about her personal history. And um, most wildlife biologists are first drawn to their career because they have an insatiable interest in wild animals and in individual animals. So even though they end up doing a lot of calculus and figuring out um, population parameters and doing, doing a lot of uh, calculations, they really, really are interested in the, the life histories, the, the joys and the sorrows and the trajectory of individual animals' lives. And because we know wisdom, we know that she was banned as an adult in 1956, which was when I was one year old. She's older than I am and she knows so much and she's seen so much and yet she is still doing what she evolved to do and surviving and raising young every year as best she can. She's incredibly powerful as a, as a symbol of why we do what we do and why people all over the world pay attention to her.